Good morning, everyone. Today is January the um the fifth, twenty twenty one, um Tuesday. I want to give a quick recap on what happened yesterday and what 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 will be happening next before the bell and uh, what are the insights I can share with you. Uh, despite the market was being positive yesterday, the market has a big sell off. That's yesterday. Dow has dropped as high as 700 points intraday and below 30,000, but closed with a small loss at 32.33.89. The drop was most likely due to profit taking and uncertainty about Georgia election runoff. At the same time, coronavirus hit record high Sunday at 125,544, where export running the pandemic is likely to get worse. Uh, the race has become too close to call prominent investors to waive the post by higher taxes and increased government spending under Democratic control Congress. On the UK side, it is entering a full actional lockdown until at least mid February. Extra Sinecures, symbol AC, and COVID 19 vaccine was distributed across the UK. Germany is set to extend its current restriction of social and business life by another three weeks to the end of January. Sturdy recruits some of his sharp losses after Prime Minister Boris Johnson's announcement of the new lockdown, raising 0.2% to $1.36. Meanwhile, the Chinese currency yuan hit its highest level in over two years, and the People's Bank of China said its highest official daily fixing for the currency since 2005. Bitcoin saw a volatile trading session on Monday as it fell as much as 17%. Uh, the decline followed a surge of record high just below 35000 Dollars. Oil prices tumbled yesterday and gold has jumped over 19.44 per ounce. United Airlines holding simple UAL, Delta Airlines simple DAL, and American Airlines simple AAL fell more than 4%. Technology was not far behind, down on more than 2% as investors used best on a high flying February 5th stock. However, Tesla and other EV stocks were up. Chinese electric vehicle December delivery exceed expectation year to date comparison surge over 100%. These are all what happened yesterday. Um, U.S. market futures were open higher earlier this morning, yet around 8:30 Eastern Time, all major indices were in wet with Dow down 0.2% and Nasdaq down 0.44%. U.S. New York Stock Exchange regulator have reversed the ruling on delisting Chinese three company. These companies surged over 6 to 8% in Hong Kong stock market exchanges yesterday. Jack Dorsey once proposed U.S. regulation would drive U.S. crypto users offshore. Bitcoin has regained some stability after its worst sell off since March. On the day of the docker, we bought index ISM manufacturing index total vehicle sales weekly API crew inventory data. A Wall Street Expo warned the stock market would drop 10 to 15% if the Georgia runoff turns to send a bull. And um, the like I said, the future way right now in wet. We don't know what happened when the market opened. Just bear in mind that, well, just go back to two months ago, a little more than two months ago, when you know the presidential election the week before, the market had dropped in down eighteen hundred points that week, and so the Nasdaq was hit. I don't know five hundred, a uh, few hundred points. Um, so use that as a reference. I'm not sure if this is copycat, uh, but just want to refresh your mind that you know the 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 I mean this time nobody talk about it using the word called context election, but we're, you know these two seats were kind of very critical to the political roadmap. You know whether you know um, the Senate will be controlled by Republican or Democrat. So um, it will be interesting that. Um, but I think the focus of the first three months probably will be vaccine anyway. Role of the vaccine. Um, Biden may be asked to wear the mask for 100 days, he said. Uh, he had a team to try to, which he were implementing the, you know, the plan that he set before the election. He had a plan that he will be implemented, even though <laughs> apparently it's kind of late for two months later with coronavirus cases already basically really reaching over 100,000, uh, 10,000 cases every day. So, uh, Right now, it's very important just to um, stay tuned what happened 
I think if the market is off um, today again, it's not surprising. You probably just, I mean, it's not really profit taking anymore, but more a worry about a market corrections as well as what will happen if the two seat were filled up by Democrats and how soon you know the 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 tax is going to be increased. All these negative constant, well, negative sort of depending on how you look at it of of the implementation of the policy that will change American life. At the same time, if, you know, the flip side of it, if Democrat won the seat, well, we may get enough stimulus for, who knows, $1,200, $2,000. But uh, is that really enough? And I think I have made it very clear that if people will find a job and ultimately meaning pay federal and state income tax because the person have a job, how much it I mean the two thousand dollar, how long does it take really the person to pay back to the government? Therefore, I'm actually proposing and pushing forward to help Americans at the moment, just like credit card, you know, borrowing money, but it's from the government. Yet the person who can find a job and will contribute this shortly and you know, because it's no fault again by that person who lost a job and there should be some sympathy around that and empathy around the people you know, who is no fault of their own uh, and still struggling for a period of time unemployed or trying to look for new jobs. And you really take a long time for a job now for some odd reason. You take, depending on which company or your big company, you may really take a month, a month and a half from the day you apply for the job to the day you place. So I just want to put that statistic out there. Um, so let's watch the market closely. Um, I think... It is the best time if you don't have to restructure again, if you, for some odd reason, didn't buy the right stock. And yesterday, I said about it, um, expert believe that the sheer small cap and international stock will grow better than the big mega tech uh, stock or chips. It doesn't mean they're not going up. Um, so um, stay tuned. Um, I will share some video about opportunities uh, and whether some stock are really good buy. Have a nice day.